Hello, uh, my name is Chris Schneck. I am our EMEA Business Development Coordinator here at Grace Technologies, and I'm here to talk to you about our Grace Permanent Electrical Safety Devices, PESDs. This is our voltage indicator alongside our voltage portal. Uh, it's used primarily in mechanical lockout tagout procedures for non-electrically qualified task workers. Um, it assists with verifying the presence of voltage uh, in the sense that it has four wires for each individual leg and then a ground wire. Uh, it will illuminate on each individual leg um, in a standard balanced three-phase system, L1, L2, and L3 will be illuminated and your ground LEDs will not. Um, but it does provide some troubleshooting capabilities in the sense that it will de-illuminate if you lose power on a particular leg. Uh, it will identify which leg has lost power. And then if you install this on a local disconnect, uh, you flip the disconnect switch uh, thinking that you've killed the power. However, one of the legs on the voltage indicator is still illuminating. That is indicative of a stuck blade uh, and it will identify which blade it has been stuck. To add to some of the different options that are available with the R3W, we have a flashing option. We have a solid on option. Uh, we also have fiber optic and we also have category three and four rated voltage indicators. A distinguishing factor between our voltage indicators is we have a blue face option and obviously the standard R3W. Uh, the blue face is categorized as category three and four. Uh, it's our class one div two rated device. So if you needed to install this in an environment that required a sniff test um, or a potential high explosive environment, uh, we do have voltage indicators that are rated for those specific types of environments. So as I flip the disconnect switch, you can see on the voltage indicator that the LEDs have de-illuminated. However, that is not indicative of an absence of voltage test. You would still need to use a voltmeter or a multimeter to physically test each phase conductor phase to phase and phase to ground to verify the absence of voltage. For installation of our permanent electrical safety devices, uh, you can use a 30 millimeter Greenlee hole punch knockout uh, that comes standard from Greenlee. Uh, all that is required is a, a hole punch stamp into your machine uh, to install both permanent electrical safety devices. You can order our permanent electrical safety devices in a combination unit, or they can be standalone. Uh, they come with a label. Uh, again, in terms of installation, all that is required is a 30 millimeter Greenlee hole punch knock. Moving on from our standard R3W, this is our R3D2, our flex mount voltage indicator unit. Uh, the biggest difference that you'll see here is that it can be used again in a three three phase four wire monitoring application uh, but it also has the addition of the neutral so it can be used in three phase five wire monitoring uh, another key difference between this device and our standard r3w uh, is that this is a conduit hole punch knockout uh, m20 or three quarter inch uh, and again we typically see this installed on smaller motor mount disconnects or smaller electrical control panels to use this device again Obviously, after you flip the disconnect switch, you can see the, the voltage dissipate. Again, these, this device is primarily used with non-electrically qualified workers, so you would still need to use a meter or a voltmeter to test for the absence of voltage. This is our fiber optic voltage indicator unit. Uh, the biggest difference between this device and some of our other voltage indicating units is that this has the power that routes to a power box that is primarily mounted on a DIN rail in your cabinet that then in turn shoots the LEDs through the fiber optic cable to the voltage indicator itself. We have multiple lengths available that range from 12 inches all the way up to 72 inches in length. Moving on from our other electrical safety devices, this is our voltage test station. It is currently housed in our UL type 4X rated housing that can withstand corrosive environments. We also carry UL type 4 and 12 rated housings uh, what this device does is, in essence, it allows you to use a voltmeter or a multi multimeter to physically test each phase conductor, phase to phase and phase to ground, to verify the absence of voltage. This complies with NFPA 70E, uh, Article 120.5, uh, the process for establishing an electrically safe working condition. The specific step that I'm referring to is step number seven which again states that you must test each phase conductor, phase to phase and phase to ground for the absence of voltage. With our permanent electrical safety devices, you can actually order them as standalone units, as you see here. 
Uh, the safe test point does come with a featured dust cap and also a built-in high impedance of 102 kilo ohms that limits the current to milliamps. You can also uh, install these devices in a combination unit in our UL Type 12 uh, without a Graceport housing unit. Uh, this requires two 30 millimeter hole punch knockouts that are standard within Greenlee, or you can also throw them in our Graceport housing unit, uh, again, coming standard with UL Type 12, 4, and 4X ratings. Moving on from our safe test points, uh, these are our voltage portals. Um, this is our RT3 and our R3K. Our RT3 brings each individual phase into one easy access point to use an NCVD pen to verify, the, again, the presence of voltage. Uh, this device here, the R3K, utilizes the voltage indicator wiring leads uh, as a pass-through, again, using an NCVD pen to quickly and easily verify the presence of voltage. We have one more additional voltage portal. It's our R1A. It is being discontinued at the end of 2020. However, the, the unique thing about the R1A is that it separates each individual phase uh, so that you can use an NCVD pen to test L1, 2, and 3 individual from one another. Please reach out to our customer service team here at Grace. We'd be happy to configure something for you today.